Across India today, anything to do with China was fair game to be burned or smashed. You will see the entire Chinese deployment. This is what massive really means. Government-friendly TV channel showed satellite images of what they claimed were convoys of Chinese vehicles right on the disputed line of control. Smacking of premeditation, said the host. India's Prime Minister, under intense pressure from opponents to hit back militarily, refused to be drawn into what India might do next. I want to assure the nation that the sacrifice of our soldiers will not go to waste, he said. The disputed Galwan Valley runs through some of the highest, most inhospitable terrain in the world. India says China has been whittling away at the border area, taking more territory even as India builds new roads and infrastructure. While it appears both sides honored an old agreement not to bring guns into the area, the Chinese soldiers were clearly ready for a fight, wielding bats studded with nails, possibly several hundred of them, say Indian officials. A lot of this is for domestic consumption. This Canadian observer says no way it was unplanned. Maybe China was trying to distract its people from the coronavirus. If you're going to come that prepared and you're prepared to inflict those sorts of injuries in in a such highly contested area that would have been had to have been authorized through the chain of command um, and that folks in Beijing would have had to been uh, aware of it. China denies it was the instigator and its foreign ministry emphasized the government wants to solve differences through dialogue. But while neither side wants a war, along with India's slain soldiers, Indian pride has also been wounded. Tempering the urge to shoot back, though, is the knowledge that in the last war, over half a century ago, the Indians lost badly. Chris Brown, CBC News, Vancouver.